So I already feel so good, girl. Doing my lashes, doing my nails, doing my hair. Doing these things to make me feel better, have more confidence within myself. vlog i was like i need to like catch up with you because it's been a minute since i uploaded hey amigas welcome back to my channel my name is leslie if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it means so much to me when you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not new hey bestie welcome back welcome back to my channel for a new video the number one reason is if you don't know houston just got hit with a really really bad storm thunderstorm windstorm tornado i don't know what it was girl but and it caused so much damage in houston that it literally looks like something that you'd see out of the a movie That rain only lasted for like 30 to 45 minutes and it happened so fast. The rain came down so hard and I have never seen wind like that before. Ever. Trees ripped out of the ground onto people's homes. We had shingles in our backyard from one of our neighbor's roofs. Like it was just such crazy destruction to see. And just in my whole area where I live, we lost phone service, we lost internet, There's, we still don't have internet access, but now my phone just started working yesterday. So just yesterday, I got internet access finally, and I was like, oh my god, I was forced to do a social media detox because of the storm. And I was like, you know what? The good thing about that was that it got me out of a reading slump that I had been in. Really not much for us to do. So I managed to read the whole time, which I'm like, I'm not mad about that. Let me go ahead and add this to this video because it's already a long vlog anyways. Let's just, just make it longer. And like tell you girls, like update you girls on what's happening and like everything. But yeah, like it was so sweet that a few of you girls were reaching out to me on Instagram. And we're just like checking on you. You haven't been online, but I really had no access. I kept trying to get online and it was just like, it just said no internet connection, no internet connection. I'm just like, ah. Speaking of Instagram, my count actually hit... 10,000 followers 10k followers on Instagram and I'm just like damn dude like you know that I've been on social media for years just to see like my growth like I'm so happy and I know that it's taken me hard work and consistency to build the platform that I built for myself and so I was so happy but I feel like whenever it happened I didn't get to like sit with it in full you know and I didn't get to celebrate it the way I wanted to but honestly that's me that's a a me thing and something that i'm working through because i feel like i've always struggled to celebrate my wins i've always struggled to celebrate accomplishments that are accomplishments to me so grateful for all of you girls that have like followed me from instagram to youtube and all of that have just like followed me in general thank you so much from the bottom of my heart like it seriously means so much to me and i'm just like in awe sometimes like, when you stay true to yourself and just do what genuinely feels good everything's gonna just work out the way it's supposed to work out basically celebrate yourself don't wait for no one to celebrate you because no one's ever going to celebrate you especially if you don't celebrate yourself let's go ahead and talk about some of the books that i finished reading while doing this like social media detox because of the houston storm let me tell you girls these books i had been reading this one a while i read it on and off on and off you like get lost into this book if that makes sense because it is a fantasy it is a retelling of beauty and the beast this is a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass because she's a thick girl i would read it like a good 10 chapters in and i would get lost in it fall in love with the characters with fira with tamlin and every lucian like everybody everybody i would fall in love but then i kind of like would put it to the side and i'd be like okay i kind of want something else but i feel like i was stuck in a slump so before these books let me tell you what i was freaking hot wow but i loved this book by the ending i was hooked and i was like i need more i need this book and my internet was not working so i literally couldn't order it and i was freaking out because i'm like i need to know what happens next which is this one the second book and it finally came in yesterday i was able to order it on amazon 
as soon as I got service girl that's the first thing I did and look how thick this one is compared to this one like if I was having a hard time I'm scared about this one but right now I'm so in love with all the characters that I'm like girl I just want to keep on reading like I started reading it last night and I'm already I made a little dent okay I did make a little dent last night I had to stop myself at 2 in the morning like girl go to bed go to bed and 4.5 just because like I said it took me a while to finish but that's on me that's on me but the story in itself was so beautiful so it starts with Fira she is basically Belle but not Belle again like I said it's like a retelling of a Beauty and the Beast story something similar but different with Faye life so basically this story is about a girl named Fira and her life after she kills a wolf out in the woods hunting for her family and she gets taken by the fae because they're like hey girl you killed one of our kind you coming home with us and basically that's how she gets taken girl she gets taken and it's then it tells you like that life once she enters the fantasy realm and she's out there that's basically where this book kind of like takes place in that story it was really really intriguing girl pick this up if you like beating the beast pick that up if you have any book recommendations leave them down in the comments below i'm always interested to know what you are reading what you love like if there's a book that you love i want to know what it is and why so again let's talk about this book that i finished um it's called love in other words by christina lauren and this is my second book from this author and i really enjoy her book this book was such a cozy romantic read it best friends to lovers and that whole journey but it also talks about grief and losing someone losing people that you love and care about very deeply so this story follows along macy she is the main character of our novel and where she's at now like she is a pediatrician and she has like this crazy busy life she's about to get engaged and she's you know thriving basically at this point and then she runs into her childhood best friend that was literally her everything and she's stuck with the question like can you still live in the past and grow from it or do you just say um i'm good where i'm at now i feel safe i'm good basically that is this story and it was so romantic and sweet there is heartbreak there's grief i'm gonna give it five stars because i genuinely loved this book it was the perfect read i read it all in one day it was yeah i read it all in one day it was such a nice story i feel like this would be a perfect vacation read i really enjoy the author's flirty vibes i noticed because my other favorite book that i ever read was my first romantic comedy which was from this author it's called the unhoneymooners and i mentioned it to you girls before in one of my other book reviews and i loved loved that book so much i feel like that's one of my favorite books of all time the same thing goes for this for these characters i love how she builds the bond between elliot who is basically the love interest in this book you fall in love with elliot you feel his warmness you can feel that he cares i think i definitely want to pick up some more books from this author two books i've read from her and they've been amazing i feel like I want to get another one that i'm gonna talk about i actually don't have it because it was an audiobook and had an audiobook in such a long time but my husband is a huge will smith fan he found out will smith had released the book last year and my husband loves will smith so he was like i'm gonna listen to it and he fell in love with it and he would always tell me like it's such a good book he's like i feel like you would love it i just know you would he's like he talks about so many things that you talk about you know what i feel like i do need something to listen to sometimes whenever i'm here at the house and i'm cleaning or I'm just like doing stuff like those times it's perfect for audiobooks so I'm like let me go ahead and start with audible and I started with that book the Will Smith and girl was my husband right oh my god that book is a 10 out of 10 he is talking about himself and his life but it's also connected with self-improvement because of the way he was raised and just the kind of person will smith is he lives a very disciplined life and he believes living a disciplined life is going to get you to where you want to be and i totally agree with that and i loved it i would listen to that book literally religiously be laughing crying like i felt everything with that book and i feel like what made me love it more in the audible version the audiobook version of it it was because it's will smith himself reading the book and you already know what kind of energy will smith has he's just so creative and just so rich with 
authenticity and himself and you feel everything he's talking about and it just moved me so much love the book i was telling my friends about it like you need to read this book i was telling my girls on instagram it was a very inspiring and motivating book and self-care for myself before everyone wakes up and then just keep editing the rest of the day to finish my vlog but i want to bring you girls along with me and my maintenance and what i'm doing to just make myself go from this stay at home mom tired no lashes no nails and just feeling not cute first thing we're gonna do though is make some coffee I have been wanting, my god I look crazy, I have been wanting to try this coffee, everybody was talking about it since it came out and like it was only in Mexico or something and then like I was trying to get it here, I could not find it and then on Amazon it would be like $20, $26, yesterday we went to Walmart and I found this for $4. It's refreshing at the same time. Girl, 10 out of 10. Being this coffee, I'm so happy that I found it at Walmart. So check out your local Walmart because at first I thought that they said this was only in Mexico. So, but it is so good. It's crazy how it's also refreshing. Like it has like a very fresh, like I don't know, I can't explain like cool cooling refreshing flavor i don't know let me know if you also feel that when you drink this like fresco i don't know like extra fresco
The wax is nice and melted, so I'm gonna go ahead and wax my face. That way, I can shower with PCOS. You already know that comes with the overgrowth of like facial hair and stuff like that. So, because of that, I personally just like to wax my face instead of shaving or like using the little razors. I like to use these to just like pick up the anything here because I'm not trying to get those hairs cold girl I'm gonna add this pre-waxing oil to just wax my face it's from bliss it's rose and chamomile it smells so good I feel like it helps not pull the skin like especially right here because oh this area is sensitive and then right here your side burns girl I'm obsessed with my nails right now like that pacifica sent me it looks a uh, very interesting but it's like a face massager i love the detail it almost looks like a disco ball do y'all see that look how cute that is let me show you how i use it first you already know i always use my thayers to just after i shower always i feel like it just balances my skin then i'm gonna go in squalene oops put that on my neck put this on it feels so good like uh, right here on my temple between my eyebrows like it literally feels so nice anywhere you put it <laughs> I also like to do it here. here for that double chin. And it just feels good. I feel like it gives more shape. I'm just gonna go here. But I like taking this side. I feel like it just fits perfectly under my eye to apply my eye cream. And it feels so good because it's so cold. And I used to keep this in the freezer, but then I realized I don't need to because it's so cold. Next thing I'm going to use is just my SPF that I use every day because I love this Kiehl's one. Girl, it's amazing. Balls. Skincare is done. Now I'm just gonna do my hair real quick. I'm gonna use my new deodorant because I want to use it. <laughs> This is my favorite lotion of all time. Last year I shared a video with this on TikTok. And it blew up. And I'm so happy that it did because it's like things like that. Like I want all those girls to go get this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I tell you. So you can go get it. <laughs> that's three things. 
body spray, lip gloss, and earrings. A must. Okay, let's go cook breakfast now. Happy Monday. So today I want to go have lunch at Malachi's school. So I was like, I'm going to skip the gym. Keep doing what I need to do so I feel good for myself and for the week. And to feel good about myself is pouring that love into me. And we already did so much. We did our toes. I did a pedicure. We did our nails. And these nails look so good. Malachi keeps telling me how much he loves the nails. So the hair... I love it but anyways my hair is done so lashes but you can get cute and feel cute on a budget we don't have to like 
spend so much money too sometimes some people are like oh i don't have one i don't have time to like get cute make myself feel good as a stay-at-home mom or as a mom in general like i don't have time like first of all make time no one has time to make time you know what i'm saying so that's like number one thing and that's what i was telling you girls it's like sacrifices that you do for yourself like wake up earlier than everybody else in the house like i did yesterday morning because i knew that there was things i really wanted to do for myself but the moment everybody's up like your mom you're helping everyone out around you for your home your kid your hubby like you're helping everyone so it's like take that time to help yourself like so important as a mom to like make time for yourself when you just leave from your house like with whatever like oh i'm just gonna throw this on like real whatever like that's how you are in the world you're hiding the whole time because you don't want to be seen you don't want to be approached you don't want anyone that you've ever known to like see you because you came out of the house looking a mess Cause that's how you feel you know what i'm saying compared to where it's like if you are already ready and you look good you don't care who you bump into you don't care what ends up happening what plans change because you took care of yourself and you look good you know what i'm saying you're prepared for anything and i feel like that is the best thing you can do that can be that is already like the best thing you can do for yourself is take care of yourself make sure that you look good so you feel good about yourself and that's already one less thing that you have to worry about. like doesn't mean like oh my god i have to spend hella money and like i don't have that kind of money to be keeping up with all this maintenance because girl same then after i became a mom i was way more intentional with when i was getting my nails in for many reasons but number one obviously like the money the cost they're pricey and it's like now you have that extra expense of a child and everything that entails i want to add to an expense that is not needed so i learned to do gel nails at home like yes i did pay at first to like um get all the stuff but it was worth it because over the next three four years that's all i did is gel nails at home i always had my nails painted because that made me feel good and now i fell in love with the press-on game and like i love press-ons because they last they're really good quality and it's so fast so fast and girl these are literally less than 12 dollars there's like three uses out of each case lashes is less than 20 dollars but again it's like a technique that you have to learn to do yourself but doing those things that make you feel more feminine is always going to make you feel more beautiful and more confident in yourself because you are a woman and anything that brings you closer to femininity is going to make you feel more confident i'm gonna go have breakfast with malachi i need to go now because i remembered his lunch is at 10 not at 10 30. You know what i'll do my lashes when i come back from the school because i really want to go pick them up some donut holes so i was like you know what let me just do my makeup real quick and i'll do my lashes when i come back Just went on the deck. I really wanted to go to Ulta today to go pick up some new makeup that I need. But I don't think it's gonna be possible. Like, and this is just the same 
white tank top from Target that I showed you girls the other time. Okay. They're so freaking cute. I'll have them linked down below if you like them. I love. They're so comfy too and stretchy. So I like that. Okay, girl, so I just finished my lashes and I loved how it came out. The next step after you apply them, you go in with the seal side, which is like the clear mascara part, and you kind of just like coat the bottom and the top of the lash to like really seal everything in. And then also, sometimes I will do the seal again, like on the second night of me having them on. I'll just like put it on again. I feel like that kind of like reinforces them together. So I already feel so good, girl. Doing my lashes, doing my nails, doing my hair. I'm getting really excited, you girls. Like, I got invited to a makeup event here in Houston from Urban Decay, and I'm so excited to be invited as a beauty influencer to their event. It's gonna happen tomorrow, so I really wanted to do this like maintenance glow up video. ready with me for my first beauty event I'm getting my stuff ready so I can do my hair with you girls real quick um I'm not real quick because I'm not gonna be quick but I do want to do my hair with you girls and um just show you girls how I heat style my hair for curls because I feel like I haven't done that in a long time like I haven't curled my hair with you girls in a while so let me sit y'all down hair is like super dry I'm gonna go in with the chi heat tamer the heat protectant by Chi. I'm gonna do is going with some mousse because I feel like that really helps sleek your hair out. This is like when I want it to look really, really nice, you know? Because <laughs> I'm going out somewhere and I want my curls to look and last and be super nice. And then I kind of like to brush it all in. Also, what I like to do is put hairspray before I curl. And then I brush through it again. And now we're gonna curl. And I'm gonna do the wrap around the barrel curls. I just like this style better for the length of my hair. So I just like wrap it around the barrel, hold it a few minutes. Hold it a few seconds, not minutes. Hold it a few seconds. And then I like to hold it a little bit in my hand as well and then just drop it down. She's looking cute already.
really pretty though. It's like a it's like a corally pink with like these little flowers, these little roses. Thinking about wearing this. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what shoes though. I think I want to film also on my phone. Um, like a get ready with me you know just to uh have uh one second hold on let me take this off all dirty stuff okay i'm trying to get like all situated and like oh my god I'm trying to get everything situated i'm already getting anxious and hot i hope i don't get high my jewelry that looks last little finishing touches so i'm gonna add some hair wax to my hair just to like sleek it down and kind of brush out some of these curls
cute. So you guys see all these like frizzies. Literally just sleeks it. Do you see that? Like there's a difference. Calm all this frizz down on your hair. I love it. Okay, but doesn't it look so good like so different already that's what I'm saying Your wax is I haven't linked in my storefront just in case you also um, I'm gonna go wash my hands now because I have hairspray hair wax all over but my hair is looking snatched it's looking slayed using my new perfume today is the Libre perfume I'm so excited I'm like what better day to use this than tonight I am ready. This is how my makeup turned out. My makeup and my hair. I love my dress and how it fits. Like everything came together perfect. I'm so excited to go to the Urban Decay event tonight. Ah, so I'm ready. I just got all my accessories ready. And I will show you girls like pictures and all that. And of course, Make sure that you're following me on my Instagram. Does so we are at the Urban Decay event. My friend Veronica. This is her fit. Super cute. Now let's get your face. Wait, let's see your makeup. Glam on point. Okay. Yes. I don't know. Should I? I'm gonna try yeah, to take it. Do you want it this way? That's fine. Yeah, because it's no. Yeah. Now let's see your makeup. Oh, I'm with a little yes. peach vibe. Yes. event like the goodie bags because whenever i see people go i always wonder like what do they get but look how cute they gave us this tote that says ud on tour urban decay and it's a really pretty lavender purple which i love it's so cute and i feel like you can never go wrong with canvas totes like these you could just like throw stuff in snacks bugs whatever 
I love these. So, yay! And I feel like this is perfect to have as a memory forever and ever. <laughs> and then, you guys, look at this. Look how beautiful. They actually had artists sitting there um, doing custom makeup bags and they were drawing our names on it. And it was so cool to see them. Just seeing a person create art is always so beautiful to me, inspiring and motivates me. And I loved how it turned out. And I was like, I need to keep this forever. And I also love that it's clear because you always need clear bags nowadays. So I'm so hyped. But let me show you what they gave us in the inside. So let me show you the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love this one so much. I feel like you cannot go wrong with this. I love to use this one if my clients have really oily skin because I know it's going to just like mattify and adhere to the skin and your makeup's going to last. And they also gave us their one and only Space Cowboy, their Moon Dust. This is the Urban Decay product that every single person needs. Like if there's one thing that I can tell anyone to buy is this do you see the frost in this like it is such a beautiful literally moon dust it's just like a dust of glitter that you can add anywhere but i'm so happy that they gave us this and they also gave me an eyeliner a green eyeliner it's just one of their like 24 hour eyeliner bright green and it looks really cool so i'm like oh this will be and metallic i'm like this will look so cute for like um summertime when you want like a little pop of color in your waterline like so cute and then they also gave me one of their lipsticks which i have never tried this is the urban decay high impact vice lipstick in the color um bad blood and i was like okay um, let's see and the packaging is so pretty again with the purple i love how they love purple and look at this color Oh my god, it's such a beautiful, like a deep blue red. Which I feel like I don't wear reds enough. I need to start wearing some red lipstick, girl, because this one looks so sexy. I hope you girls enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you girls next time in my next video. Because